Mayor Soglin's last full day in office, possibly ending his half a century long Madison political career. In an exclusive interview, Mayor Soglin sat down with only News 3 Now's Keely Arthur at one of his favorite spots in Madison to talk about what's ahead. I get over here about once every quarter, three, four times a year. Madison Mayor Paul Soglin spending part of his last day in the role at a place near to his heart, the Meadowood Neighborhood Center. It represents the greatest challenges and the greatest successes in our community. Soglin says the community center and adjoining library encapsulate just how far the city has come in improving race relations. We were one of the worst cities in the country in 2011 in regards to racial disparities. At the time, he says African-American unemployment was almost 27 percent and is now under 7 percent, according to census data. He also says the number of African-American children living under the poverty line dropped by a third. Now, there's more to do, but those are really big achievements, achievements that are really unmatched around the country. Soglin's quest to better Madison as mayor officially began in 1973. Since then, he served in the role on and off for 22 years. His administration is responsible for the construction of the Monona Terrace and turning State Street into a walking mall. Two weeks ago, the man who was first elected in his 20s beating an established incumbent ironically lost to a candidate that seems to represent a breath of fresh air to voters. There was the desire of uh, the excitement of, of electing the city's uh, first lesbian mayor. He also points to the troubled tree lane housing development and his choice to jump into the race after saying he would not as reasons for taking only 38 percent of the vote compared to Mayor-elect Sachi Rhodes Conway's 62. Basically the decision to run for governor and then run for mayor that made me vulnerable, but it didn't cost the election. Despite some apprehension, Soglin is looking on the bright side of shedding his title. As disappointing and as difficult as the election result was, the next morning there was uh, a feeling of freedom, of liberation, uh, looking forward to the whatever that next chapter is. He wouldn't explain exactly what lies ahead in this next chapter, but was emphatic that it would not include public office or another run for mayor. I've said that twice before. I think this time I can say it with confidence. And plus, I've got the added benefit that I don't think the people of Madison would want me. Regardless of the message the people of Madison sent him on election night, he says he'll stay put in the city that elected him to its highest office eight times and figure out another way to improve the lives here at Meadowood and the rest of Madison. I don't think I'd ever feel that the job was done. You know, as long as there was one family in poverty, uh, one household without health insurance. Um, but Looking where we were at and looking at the change that took place, I got great satisfaction. That was Keeley Arthur reporting. Despite earlier reports that Soglin would not attend Rhodes Conway's inauguration, he tells us he will be there tomorrow. In Washington.